Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Patrick Kellogg. This video is about H5P. So H5P, if you go to h5p.org, you see it's a whole bunch of these interactions that you can now use seamlessly inside LearnDash and in WordPress in general, uh, thanks to my new plugin. So it, this consists of a couple steps. One is you want to go here to h5p.org, and you can see the different interactions that you can get. Now, our goal is to make all these work flawlessly inside LearnDash. And then also, if you go to this link, you go to the documentation. And in the documentation, you see that we have set up H5P for WordPress. So by following this link, you can get the plugin. Now, this plugin is going to give you the ability and all the information that you need to create, create H5P content in WordPress. So that would be step one, would be to get that. And then step number two, if I go over here to uh, where my plugins are, I see that I have a new plugin called eLearning Complete H5P for Learn Dash. And this leverages an internal LRS or learning record store and uh, creates hooks to control Learn Dash internally. So you can uh, control the Learn Dash lessons and quizzes internally. Now, uh, a learning record store is, is uh, something that typically is external um, and, and lets you share uh, your interactions with a whole bunch of other members, as well as all your course data and things like that. So this actually creates it internally and uses it more for like using it seamlessly in Learn Dash. So you would need this plugin if you want to do what we're going to be doing. And this is going to be a premium plugin, and we'll talk more about that later. So let's go ahead and uh, go over here. And this is the back end. And now that I have the uh, that first plugin, the h5p.org plugin installed, I'll find that I have a new category here called H5P content. Now this content, uh, I can either uh, add new H5P content, or I can look at the um, all the content. So I already have some created. So I'm going to go ahead and just look at the content that I have. So it's going to load it up, and I see that I have two of them. Here's one right here. And this has an ID equal to 1. And there's a second one, which is a doc tool, which has an ID equal to 2. So I'm going to be using this one on a Learn Dash uh, lesson. So remember, the ID is equal to 1. So let's go into the lesson. Now, I already have a lesson made. And it's just a bare bones lesson that belongs to a bare bones type of course, just to show you how this works. So in here, in my lesson, I'm going to go ahead and paste in this short code. So it has a square bracket, so you know it's a short code. And it has H5P, and then it has a space, and it has an ID with, uh, equal to 1. So that's the parameter. ID 1, again, matches up with this ID right here. I could have used 2. I could have made more and used other ones, new ones, like 3, 4, 5, or whatever they would have happened to have been. But I want to use ID number 1, which is a H5P question set quiz. So I'll go over here. And uh, also, now that uh, I have my plug-in, loaded and it's properly configured and that's this one right here that's going to be a premium i notice now uh, over here that i have a category here which asks me uh, hey do i want to assign a h5p to this particular lesson and i do and it's one h5p1 so this is going to enforce requirements uh, before i can pro progress in this actual lesson so let's go ahead and um, i'll just re uh, i'll refresh the screen so here's our lesson, and, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass it this time. So I'll go ahead and say, uh, water contains which chemical elements? Now that's H2O, so that's hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. And then fishing is fun. Mark the words. This is a mark the words example. Click on the gerund in the following sentence. Well, a gerund, if you don't remember, uh, and it's common across all languages, uh, as far as I know, it's a it's a verb that's used as a noun. So in this example, uh, it's fishing. Fishing is uh, a gerund. So I'll choose that one. I'll continue. And then I get to my third and last one. Which member of the Beatles was not an original member? Well, that would be Ringo. So I'll go ahead and uh, choose Ringo here and click finish. And now I get uh, my results and I pass. So this is set up to be passing at 80%. Um, just like the default passing for Learn Dash quizzes, but you can change it. It's configurable, just like Learn Dash is. And you notice after I finished it, this bu button here, the Mark Complete button, 
now becomes enabled and I could go ahead and click on it and can continue with my, my Learn Dash course. But before I do that, I'm going to just retry this and now I'm going to fail it. I want to make sure it doesn't um, let me continue via this Mark Complete button. So my goal is to fail it intentionally and then I want to have this button disabled. So I'll choose the wrong answers uh, this time. So I'll put nitrogen and helium. And I'll choose uh, fun because fun is not a gerund. It's not a verb that's used like a noun. And last but not least, I'll turn, choose John here because uh, he certainly was an original member. He was the original member. So I'll go ahead and finish this. And now I see that I fail and uh, this be gets uh, disabled so I can't continue. So by installing this plugin, uh, the two of them, uh, one is the, uh, the H5P plugin. We now have the ability to create and use massive amounts of H5P content, interactive content, inside WordPress and inside Learn Dash. And then by installing my, my plugin, we now can enforce rules where we set up an internal learning record store right in WordPress, and we say, hey, you can't continue anymore because now we have hooks. And we're using those hooks to control the, the course and the quiz procedure or progress, I should say. So that's basically it. I'm not going to show you the quiz thing now, but that's there as well. So my business partner, Rake, and I will be um, selling this as a premium plugin. So uh, let us know if you have any questions. And thanks again for watching this video.